I was jumping on my sister, like almost like trying to kill my younger sister, jumping and hitting and maybe kicking, almost killing my younger sister, Crystal Ann Arnold. Years ago, I was like 13 years old in the United States of America. I'm an American. I love to be American. But, but regardless of that, it's like, oh my God, it's like, mm, what was I doing? What was I, what was I thinking? I was out of my mind. Maybe there was a lot of drugs I was taking, except I never do that. The only kind of drug I ever take is like Jesus or oatmeal. But it's like, still happening. It's like, what was I doing? What was I thinking? Was I crazy? Was I a bad person? I was about 13 years old or so. I don't know exactly, but that was back in maybe 1998. And my sister was like maybe seven or eight years old. I think it's five years younger than me, but I think maybe my, um, my mother told me to babysit my sister and so I had to keep her in the house but then she was running off and she was trying to do whatever she wanted it may have been it may have been when I was 15 or 16 and she was older but still around that time and that was like almost 20 years ago or so and 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 I can tell you now I can I can make excuses and tell you why I did it I can have justification and tell you that I was a good person, but maybe, maybe not so much. But, but I still, I still kind of wonder about what I was doing. But now, you know, it's like in life, in life, we, we, we make mistakes and we have to get back up and we have to think about the things we did, you know, all the things that, that, that I, I do and say and places I go and things that I don't do and stuff and, and I may have regret and stuff and, and uh, doubt for, for stuff that I, that I think about doing in the future but but then you know I try to I think about it and it's a, it's, 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 it's a very big you know puzzle and a lot of people try not to think too much because it gives them like uh, a big giant headache you know pain inside their body and it's like it's like what do you do what do you do I, I say you know there are times when we need to fight or say certain things like maybe uh, speak the truth in love you know kind of thing you know it's like you have to find a way to love your enemies you gotta you gotta discipline you gotta confront you know you, you gotta have some correction, uh, discipline, uh, you know, discipleship, you know, training for your your children, your students, um, people around you, even you know, in your family, your friends, people you care about, or even people you don't. But you may have to have some priority, of course. And it's always better, you know, focus on some people not everybody because you can't do everything and something is better than nothing it's definitely better than nothing and no pain no gain so you gotta you gotta fight through the storm you gotta travel through the storm and and you gotta climb up the mountain and you gotta try new things even like for people learning english for example or whatever or you know or whatever whatever you're learning it's like when you learn english for example it's like it's good to learn it step by step, but it's also good to like learn it with everything else that you're learning, and and people need to think about that more. And so, you, so it's it's very good if you can help people see that that you don't learn things in isolation, separated from other things. You learn it in an integration when you put things together and you find a way to compare and contrast and, and all these different things with the critical thinking you ask questions and that's what I was doing when I was little since I was like eight years old I would go to my mommy and I would ask my mommy questions that she didn't know and, and that was very very important and, and we struggle we struggle and, and it really really helps us and, and I would say that that in life you really gotta you gotta do 
terrible things sometimes, maybe? Maybe not actually terrible, but it may, it may be considered to be terrible to some people. Some people will accuse you of doing something terrible, but you gotta know the truth, and the truth will set you free, and you gotta remember hope over dope. Hope over dope. Since I'm Joey Arnold, original Odinil, and, and and you gotta, you got to have joy over circumstances and love, love, love through action. First John four nineteen, and you gotta have all these things like the fruit, fruit, fruit of the spirit, fruit of the spirit, and and. And you gotta have this like love that's a fire, and it wants to be a part of everybody's heart. And so it's something that you contribute to other people. You you share it with other people. You give it to other people because that's what love is, and that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about, and and that's what we do, and that's what we care about, and and we do things, and and we focus on the truth, and we find the truth, and the truth is attainable. And, and we can know it, and we can love it, and we can get it, and we can get more of it. Even when other people say it's so hard and so difficult to know what is true, and who is telling the, telling the truth, and who is lying. But, you know, it's like, you know that people are telling the truth when you see their past in their heart. And, and I listen to Info Wars and Drudge Report, and WikiLeaks, and Tommy Milo, and... Alex Jones and Roger Stone and these people, you know, even maybe Sean Hannity and Jeanine Perot and there's a lot of different people that I listen to and, 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 and I believe in them and and you can, you know, investigate and go on Google and find out what is true. You know, you don't have to just trust me, but but it's also important to remember that, that you shouldn't just, you know, like, jump on your sister, too. Maybe not all the time, or maybe not at all, because it's like, even though I did it, I'm not telling you that you should do what I did, but at this moment in my life, I'm, I'm beginning to see more and more about grace, how to forgive people, how to give people, like, mercy and grace and compassion and forgiveness and all these things that come from agape, you know, an unconditional love kind of thing. And it's it's a really, really great thing, and it, it comes from the the author and the finisher and the creator of, of everything. And, and, and we know him, and he knows us, and he loves us, and he grows in us when we ask him to, and it's something that we can never stop, and we are greater and more powerful with that, and when we, we start with ourselves, and the people around us, and then our country, and our country first, if if your country is America, or whatever country you are, and, and, and you, you, you focus on your destiny, 